What's up guys, it's Dorian. So I thought it was time for an update for Manjaro Gnome, considering it has been three months today that I selected Manjaro as my new operating system. I uh, can see before why I'm leaving Ubuntu. It was not only because of everything turning into snaps, it was also because of the lack of support for the NVIDIA Optimus hybrid graphics and a few other little things here and there. But Ubuntu, I guess, was getting old. It was starting to go into a direction I didn't really like. So I made the video of I'm either going to go OpenSUSE or Manjaro. And May 31st was when I decided, yeah, I'm going to go with Manjaro. So here we are, August 31st, and it's been three months, and I'm super happy with it. It's, you know, it's Linux. Any distro you choose, as long as it works for you, and as long as you're happy with it, and all your drivers are supported, it has all the software you need, you can honestly pick any distro you want. This is the great thing about Linux, but Manjaro has made me super happy it's it was a bit of a leap for me to be honest because i've always liked the fixed release for stability or point release whatever you want to call it i've always enjoyed the stability of having tested software that works and you don't futz around with it right like it it's set it's good to go awesome everything works but there's also the rolling releases, and Arch is one of them. There's also OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Not a fan of Tumbleweed. If you watch my videos, you know why. It's not Tumbleweed, sorry, it's OpenSUSE. You'll know why I'm not a fan of OpenSUSE. More of a personal thing, but anyways. Arch is a little more hardcore. Their forums can be a little nasty, but it's, if you're new, it's something you don't want to dive into first unless you're brave you can be brave then go for it right manjaro is a little bit more of a stable version i guess of arch right they're focused a little more on stability they're going to ensure everything works before it's released so it's not as bleeding edge as arch but it still has all the newest up-to-date software and the one thing that I miss is this, Ask Ubuntu. It is great. The cool thing about it is if you come on here and ask questions, as long as it's not too far from Ubuntu or too Manjaro or Arch specific, you'll probably find the answer here too, which is cool because Linux distros are all very, very similar. However, the Manjaro forum is awesome. You can find a lot of good help here, a lot of good peeps, and there's a ton of documentation. There's a ton of documentation on Arch as well, because Arch is more hardcore, from scratch, building blocks type stuff. You'll find very technical stuff on pretty much anything. And if you're brave enough to ask on an Arch forum, beware if you're a newbie, they're going to probably hammer you asking for more specifics on different things. I've, I've discussed this before with my why new users shouldn't get frustrated videos. They're going to want more detail. They're, they're not going to want you to come on and be like, hey, my desktop doesn't work and not be able to give them anything right. They need to know versions of things. They need to know your hardware. They need to know a lot of things. So be prepared to get pummeled with questions and they're going to ask you to go into the terminal and do things. You get that stuff on Ubuntu as well, not as bad as Arch. Arch, they kind of expect you to be more technically savvy with Linux stuff. Manjaro is a good middle ground, and I find that people are very, <laughs> I guess, more tolerant of new people, more tolerant of if you're really stuck, they'll, they'll help you out. Yeah, so I haven't had any stability problems. I gave myself problems. Uh, and I messed up my bootloader and yada yada, but that that actually had nothing to do with Manjaro, that had to do with Solus, and I managed to fix it with a backup. Always back up your stuff, I always say. And so, um, would I recommend Manjaro 
being three months in, I absolutely would. They have everything, like absolutely everything. Everything is up to date. And if it's not even in the repo, there is the Arch user repository where anybody can upload stuff, but you have to be a little bit more careful of what you're downloading. So one thing I recently searched for and downloaded was FS Lint. So this is an awesome piece of software that is not available or it wasn't available in the repositories. It's showing up there, but that's only because I installed it. Uh, yeah, pretty sure it's not there. It's just because I already installed it. So when you search for software, if it's not in the repositories, it will then search the Arch user repository and pop up here. So you have to be a little bit more careful of what you're installing here because anybody can upload something to the user repository. So if you don't know what you're doing, don't just start downloading a whole bunch of stuff. Like look into it. There'll be links, read about it and look into it a little bit. Don't go all willy nilly because not saying there's bad people out there, but someone could put something on there that's potentially a, a security issue or um, some kind of spyware or whatever, and it might not get discovered right away. So just be a little bit more careful with the user repository. Driver-wise, driver-wise, everything works awesome in Manjaro, especially my hybrid graphics. So I had no problem doing um, any updates. Uh, what am I looking for? GLX gears. So Opta Run, I've shown this before in other videos. Uh, it showed up on my other screen, but anyways, this is running off my NVIDIA GPU and you can see my temperature just popped up before it showed off. So this is awesome because not a lot of distros lately are supporting the NVIDIA Optimus, the hybrid dual switchable graphics. I did a video on how to get it going in Ubuntu using Prime Select but you have to reboot when you want to switch. So it's a bit of a pain to reboot every time you want to switch from your Intel to your Nvidia or back. So on that video that I did, people are getting frustrated because they're, they're not able to get it to work with some GPUs and I'm actually recommending, well, hey, come to Manjaro because if you Google, let's say Manjaro Bumblebee, I've said this before and I'll say it again. It was super, super easy compared to almost any other distro out there. I literally typed this command into the terminal and rebooted and it worked. So there, there is some more like configuring refresh rates and some X screen settings, but really I didn't have to do any of this. I did that one line, rebooted, it was done. So awesome. Pop! OS is an Ubuntu-based distro which comes out of the box supporting NVIDIA. However, I haven't had a chance to try it on hardware yet because the installation failed. So I'm going to wait a little bit and I'm going to download a, a new ISO, see if maybe they fixed it. I don't know what happened with that. It, it would not install. It was just an installer error and I was like, hey, enough with that. So. I'm happy with the way things are now. However, speaking of Ubuntu on Twitter today, I noticed from Canonical Will Cook uh, said, we're looking for people with NVIDIA hardware to help with testing on Ubuntu desktop for open source and proprietary drivers. If you have the time, please read this thread to get involved. And it goes over to their uh, Ubuntu site. So that's awesome. And I, of course, replied, finally, don't forget about Optimus hybrid GPUs. So we'll see what happens with that. It would be awesome if Ubuntu turns things around and gets back on board with Nvidia. But anyways, that's it with drivers. Otherwise, I have had a lot of updates and it's not a constant stream like you would get from a more bleeding edge type thing. Uh, I've had maybe in the last three months, I've had three bursts of updates. One was like 350, which was a big one. Another one was like 30 updates and the other one was like 120. So it does come in chunks, 
So it's almost like um, a fixed release in shorter increments, I guess. I haven't had any issues with it and I'm extremely happy with it. So three months so far, I'm hoping to stick with it. I am going to try Pop! OS with the NVIDIA built into the, in the ISO and see how that works out of the box. But Manjaro, honestly, I could not be happier with it. It works flawlessly. I've thrown everything at it and it, it works. I have Steam installed, by the way. I know Steam is not officially supported by Manjaro, or I should say Manjaro is not officially supported by Steam, I guess. It's the other way around. The Steam client works great, the games work great, and there's a trick I've shown in some videos. I don't know why it's taking so long. I know why. It's my internet. I'm also going through some updates, and I'm trying the new Steam Play, which lets you play Windows games in Linux, which is awesome. I enabled Steam Play, which lets you play Linux games in or sorry, Windows games in Linux, which is awesome. So I'm testing that out now. But um, the one trick I've shown before a few times is in the launch options, you just do a up to run, let me zoom in, up to run percent command percent. And now when I launch the game in Steam, it launches it off my NVIDIA GPU. So Works perfect. Everything works perfect. I'm super happy. I don't have to worry about snaps and I don't have to worry about what Canonical is doing and I don't have to worry about data collection or anything. So it's a win, 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 win situation in my books. And I do still have Ubuntu installed on my hard drive. I have Ubuntu 16.04 and I have Ubuntu 18.04 still installed so I can still go back to them anytime I'm debating whether to delete them I don't know if I want to or not I also have elementary 5 installed which uh, eh, it's okay I don't know maybe when it comes out of beta it'll be a little better it's uh, it's Ubuntu based slash Debian based whatever you want to call it um, and, I, and I still have Manjaro KDE installed as well. The KDE didn't work out for me. Don't get me wrong. I love KDE. I did videos on my switch over and what I thought about it. The only issue I had as someone who records these videos is the screen recording had glitches and I couldn't get rid of it. The only way I could get rid of it was completely disable the compositor. And I've discussed this before. so. I love KDE, I wish I could keep using it. I hope it gets fixed one day. As you can see, my GNOME is set up like KDE. I also did a video on that, so I do videos on everything. So yeah, I would highly, highly recommend at least trying Manjaro. Set yourself a partition, go into your Gparted or whatnot, shrink your partition a little bit of whatever you're using, throw a Manjaro on there as a dual boot or triple boot or whatever and just give it a try you'll see it's awesome no need to fear rolling releases i've been converted um, i'm a believer but um, still not quite ready for dealing with arch uh, and stating that no matter what you do don't forget to back up always always back up and yeah i will continue to install other distros just to check them out and do reviews but yeah, Manjaro's here to stay for me. So anyways, that's it for my update. Now I'd like to thank my Patreon patrons, Carlos Arknos, Carl, George, Matt, Kit, and Says, and my newest patron, Reagan. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. If you'd like to contribute to my channel and help me contribute to the Linux community, head on over to patreon.com slash dorian.slash. Till next time, guys, bash on. Get off the desk, cat.